when I love him, I am his hearing with which he hears, his seeing with which he sees, his hand with which he strikes, and his foot with which he walks. <laughs> Majmu'ah Fatawa Ibnu Taimiyah, Ibnu Taimiyah said, You have to know that the rightly guided Sheikh must be taken as guided and examples in the faith, as they follow in the footsteps of the prophets and messengers. The way of those sheikh is to call people to God's divine presence and obedience to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The sheikhs whom we need to take as guides are our example, and we have to follow them. As when on the prescribed and pilgrimage, one needs a guide to reach the Kaaba. The sheikhs are our guide to God and our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ibn Taymiyyah quotes from Bayazid al Bistami the great Sufi Sheikh. Bayazid al-Bistami and the famous story of when he saw God in a vision and said to him, Oh God, what is the way to you? And God responded, Leave yourself and come to me. Ibn Tamiya continues quoting Bayazid al Bistami. I shed myself as a snake sheds its skin. Implicit in this quotation is an indication of the need for self-denial or absentation from worldly life, as that was the path followed by Bayazid al-Bistami. So we see from the above quotes that Ibn Taymiyyah accepted many sheikh by quoting them and urging people to follow guides, to show the way, to obey God and to obey the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ibn Taymiyyah said about the term of Sufism, The following is what Ibn Taymiyyah said about the definition of Sufism. Praise belong to God. The use of the word Sufism has been thoroughly discussed. This is a term that was given to those who were dealing with that branch of knowledge. Sufism is the science of realities and state 
of experiences. The Sufi is the one who purifies himself from everything which distracts him from the remembrance of God. The Sufi is so filled of knowledge of the heart and knowledge of the mind that value of gold and stones will be equal to him. Sufism safeguards the precious meanings and lives and leaves behind the call to fame and vanity to reach the state of truthfulness. The best of human after the prophets and truthful one. As God mentioned them in the Quran. All who obey God and the messengers are in the company of those on whom is the grace of God, the prophets, and the sincere love of truth or siddiqin, the martyrs and the rages. Oh, what a beautiful fellowship! Quran Surah 4, Ayah 69 Sufis strive to be obedient to God. Among them, you will find the foremost and nearness by virtue of their striving, and some of them are among the people of the right hand. And now about Ibn Taymiyyah, uh, talk about saint and sainthood. A servant of God, almighty and exalted, cannot be considered as a saint unless he is a true believer. God mentioned in the Quran, now surely, on the friend of God, there is no fear, nor shall they grieve. Those who believe and guard against evil. Quran Surah 10, Ayah 62 until 63. He then quotes the famous tradition from Bukhari. My servant draws not near to me with anything more loved by me than the religious duties I have enjoyed upon him. And my servant continues to draw near to me. With supererogatory super works. So that I shall love him. When I love him, I am his hearing with which he hears. His seeing with which he sees. His hand with which he strikes and his foot with which he walks. Were he to ask something of me, I would surely give it to him. And were he to ask me for refuge, I would surely grant him it. I do not hesitate about anything as much I hesitate about seizing the soul of my faithful servant. He hates death, and I hate hurting him. 
He explains the praise. Whoever comes against one of my saints is challenging me to fight. Thus, it means God is expressing. I will seek revenge against anyone who comes against my saints like an aggressive alliance.